Uh, Ralph Strada refers to the layering you have, um, the reduction woodcut prints in the exhibition, so each color represents a layer of ink on the sheet of paper, similar to uh, different strata you have in geological layers in, in the landscape. Well, the process of reduction woodcut is a process in which each color is printed from the same block of wood, uh, so that in order to produce the, uh, the image, uh, over during that production phase, the block of wood actually is being destroyed as opposed to a traditional color woodcut where you have one block for each individual color. Well, for me, the excitement of using the reduction woodcut is the fact that um, as opposed to the other printmaking processes, I don't have to deal with chemistry, I don't have to use any chemicals, it's very immediate, it's very direct. And uh, while woodcut, while relief printing is the oldest printmaking medium, um, it has over time fallen somewhat out of favor and most printmakers will either be active in lithography or in etching. And uh, most of the people that still do uh, woodcuts uh, will either be uh, black and white images or traditional uh, color woodcuts. So uh, not too many people uh, have concentrated on the, on the reduction woodcut. The amount of time it takes to produce an image is depends on a couple of factors. Uh, as I work in a reduction process, I never know ahead of time if I will have three layers, four layers, five layers, six layers, uh, seven, eight layers, and pretty much each layer um, with the amount of time it uh, requires to dry a layer of ink, each layer pretty much represents a day. Well, you'd like to, for people to walk away from the gallery with a certain appreciation for the medium of reduction woodcut and to give people the opportunity to explore the work and bring their own interpretations to it. So I do not, I'm not interested in, through the work, giving people answers to what the work really is about. It's, it's an exploration, it's a process of exploring the, uh, the visuals, the work, and uh, uh, ultimately thinking, analyzing what, what you've just seen. When you have an image, by changing the color and the color relationships, um, how do we look at that image and how do we feel differently about this? So I have one here that um, is using a darker palette and then one that is using a lighter palette on the other side with uh, more yellows versus here a uh, dominance of, uh, of purples. And then within that also uh, changing the direction of the block so that what is on top of the block of the print here is at the bottom of the print on the, uh, the other side. So I start off with a uh, block of wood that does not have any carving on it and then I first start out with carving those couple uh, outlines and print my first color which in this case is this burgundy color. Uh, once the burgundy is printed I will go back to the block and add some additional lines into that, like these additional circles, uh, these vertical lines, and then these, uh, the star pattern in this wing shape, and print my second color on top of the first, which you know, is this uh, lighter, more of a fire truck red. Um, once that is printed, I go back to the block and uh, carve some more um, of the information away, so that um, then I'm ready to print my third color, which is this all kind of a uh, mustard color and once that is printed I carve some more away in the block, print the black and then uh, print, uh, carve some more and then my last color is this white which is printed over uh, all the other colors to then get to this end result. Now one of the things you will notice is that as I'm using oak plywood I keep my wood grain throughout the image and in the layering um, there was nothing in here that really looks like that mustard color but because of the reds underneath I get this rich copper color and then by printing the white on top of the black I really get uh, rather than a stark white I get this uh, more rich uh, blue grayish uh, white as a final layer. One of the things that I tend to do also is to uh, explore different uh, color schemes, different variations um, within the same block. So that is the block that was used for the editions uh, 5 through 11 of 2003 and this being the first uh, one of those editions from that same block.